Okay, hi everybody, this is just a, uh, a quick video here just to see if you can sort of test something out for me see what you think. I don't know how well it shows on the video here but basically um, on my unboxing video for the HTC Evo 3D uh, you remember when I first got it out my first impressions were that I thought the screen display was a little bit kind of dimmer um, compared to the HTC Sensation. So I don't really know how well it shows on the video but I thought I'd do a little bit, a little bit of a video here about this. Um, also I just mentioned quickly, I'll come back to it at the end of this video, but I'm also going to do a bit of a video response to um, somebody called Ghost Snoopy Free who left a, a query in the comments under my uh, HTC Evo 3D battery video and basically he was asking why um, the display on my Evo looks different from his well I assume you're not talking about the brightness issue that I'm trying to highlight here I assume you're talking about the fact that I've got a different skin on it and so on so after I've looked at this brightness thing I'm going to show you how you can get that get this skin on this on your phone if you want to right so basically as I was saying I, I seem to think it may just be my imagination. I don't know how well it shows up on the video, but to my naked eye, it seems to me as if the sensation screen is kind of somewhat brighter than the Evo screen. In case you can't tell, I've got the sensation here in my right hand and the Evo 3D here in my left hand. Now, if you, especially if you look at the whites there, the whites on the numbers of the clocks, the... Um, the ones on the sensation seem to be quite a bit kind of brighter and clearer. Um, that seems to be showing up on my uh, on my camera's little monitor screen here, so hopefully that will show up on the actual video as well. Certainly to the naked eye, you can see there's quite a difference. Um, let's just kind of go into a web page and see. Now if you look there, where it says John's World there where my thumb is, you should be able to see differences in the yellows there and of course it really shows when you're on a web page with a lot of white background as well um, to also show that a bit further what I'll do now is I'll because I'm not sure with this skin and this uh, this uh, theme that I've got on here whether or not it shows very well so I'm going to change back to the basic um, HTC wallpaper. So if you just bear with me a sec while I do that on both phones. Okay, we'll go back to the basic one there. And we'll do the same on the Evo. Oops. Now, I don't know if you can see, but kind of the colours there, the oranges, and the yellows they seem quite a bit different and also the uh, as I say again back to the whites anyway as I say I just wanted to quickly put that out there and if you can tell me people whether or not you can see a definite difference there so what I'm wondering it definitely seems to be a difference to me so what I'm wondering is is the difference caused by the fact that on the Evo 3D we've got the 3D screen technology is there a bit of a trade-off in brightness now I've looked about as much as I can on the internet I've looked at other videos I've even looked at a, a video where um, they compare the HTC Evo 3D and the sensation together the screen display doesn't look any different at all as far as I can see so um, I don't know why I'm having this issue it may just be that I've got a bit of a duff phone just a, a faulty item and I'm thinking about actually returning it it works perfectly in all other respects, it works fine, but this display issue, it does definitely seem to be a noticeable difference here, so I think I'm probably going to have to return the phone. But let me know if you can see the difference, and also if anybody out there knows whether or not um, there is any trade-off, whether 3D technology means you've got to put up with a slightly dimmer screen. Um, I know certainly it, um, there's an issue with uh, 3D movies in the cinema, um, whereby basically everything is a bit dimmer so I don't know whether it's the same on phones but if anyone out there knows anybody that's obviously a lot more technically uh, minded than I am and, and knows about these things I'd be interested to to hear your views on that 
Um, now back to the query from um, Ghost Snoopy Free. Of course, really the uh, the reason that my screen probably looks so different to yours. I assume you're not talking about the dimness issue. Um, but basically, it's because I've got uh, a different skin loaded onto this phone. So what I'll do is I'll show you where you can get that. Obviously, you can see there the shape of the buttons at the bottom are different from the uh, the user of HTC Sense. So basically, there's a new skin that you can get. Uh, it's called Amazing Sense. Uh, also, of course, the wallpaper I had on there was a live wallpaper that comes with uh, standard on your phone, which is called Frequency. Um, I'll put that back on in a second as well, but I'll just show you how you get this uh, Amazing Sense, as it's called, skin. Right, so I've put a bookmark in here. Uh, at least I think I have. Let's try it out. You can get this skin from the XDA developer's website. If you Google that, you should be able to find it quite easily. Uh, but I'll put a link underneath the video, which should take you straight to uh, this page here that you see. So if you browse to it on your phone, browse to this page here. And then from here, if you just click on to uh, download Amazing Sense by Sipis version 2. Once you click on that link, that will take you to this page here. And uh, all you need to do then is, you see there's a load of different um, links here to click on to. If you go to the very top one, very top one there where it says direct download in blue, click on that. Okay, that's now downloading the skin to the phone. Go up to the home screen and go to notifications. You can see it there, there it is. So, Amazing Sense 2 2 APK has been downloaded. So, all you then have to do is either go into it by clicking on that, or of course, go into your uh, personalization, select skin, and you'll see it there. That's the uh, Amazing Sense um, skin. So if I now apply that, okay. So there it is. That's the kind of background. It comes with that background as standard, but you can change your background. The main thing about this theme is basically it uh, obviously it changes those little buttons down the bottom. Your standard uh, phone and uh, app uh, app icons and personalization buttons. It changes those to the ones you see there, uh, which I think are. Uh, I, at first I didn't like them as much as the standard HTC ones, but you do get used to them. But the main thing about it is that it makes all of your widgets just that much more see-through. So anything that you've got behind, if you've got a picture that you usually use as your wallpaper, or some live wallpaper or anything, you find that it's not nearly so obscured by all of your widgets and icons and so on. Um, so I'll just show you that. I'll go back to, uh, basically once you've got this, skin on you can still load any wallpaper or live wallpaper so if we go back and put the one that I usually have on uh, go to wallpaper and live wallpapers okay so the one that I normally have on there is this one Spectrum um, as what that does is what well, I'll show you so basically you've got That little design there, kind of like a uh, lava lamp effect. Um, but also what will happen is whenever you play anything on the phone, any kind of noise that it makes, um, this spectrum thing will react as a frequency wave. And I'll just show you that by coming out of the lock screen. Okay, as it starts to play the animation. There you go. So it's pretty useful if you if you want to have a picture as your wallpaper because it shows through much better. Um, your icons and your widgets don't obscure it as much. Uh, and as I say, I, I like the, uh, the little Spectrum uh, live wallpaper. That's one I usually have on. So anything that you play now. for a, 
a documentary called um, Pornography, Pornography the Musical. Yeah, yeah, not 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 universally. It will show the spectrum of it. Yeah. <laughs> terrific viewing figures. <laughs> Unsurprisingly so. Um, but do you have scripts in? I mean, do you okay, so have that screenplay ambitions? Um, answers I your question. I wrote a novel um, about why the screen looks different. Um, oh yeah, just one more thing about that. Uh, this is installable without you having to root your phone. Um, but what you will have to do is you will have to go to your settings and make sure that um, you're allowing uh, the phone to download um, outside non-approved apps as it were. So yeah, what you need to do to make sure that you can use this skin is to go to your settings and go to applications and make sure that you have the unknown sources tick box ticked and you'll be able to download that skin and use it without having to root your phone okay so I hope that um, answers your question and also if anybody can get back to me if they do know anything about screen display issues with 3D phones if there is a bit of a trade off because of the 3D technology as I see there again you can see there is a definite difference in the whiteness and in the in the screen generally. Okay, so thanks a lot. Bye now.